Hi guys, uh, it's EGC here and today I'm going to introduce you a uh, card game that is going to be released which is uh, called Gate Ruler which you can now see the uh, card design like the back of the card design which you should see on the uh, the right side thing is what we should be getting as a final product and this card game is designed by uh, Mr. EKG so he is uh, owner of Card Kingdom and father of Body Fight so he have he has a very large long experience relating to TCG and he also have experience uh, designing TCGs which is one reason that getting me the interest to at least try this game and uh, I have already uh, pre-ordered starters and booster with another friend so we will have something to start with and likely uh, I will be doing another video when the rules are revealed when I get the products so of course I will still be doing unboxing and still be doing some uh, like fights and uh, should also be doing a vi another video explaining the rules because for now we don't have the full image of the rules unless you are like uh, part of testers or maybe some influencers already know all the rules but uh, I'm just like a normal person right now so I can only tell you what I know about this game and the rules that we right now understand <clears throat> so do remember a uh, few things that the information that I'm going to tell you in a bit will be the information that I gather from different websites um, Twitter, YouTube streaming, etc. So we will still need to wait for the official release of all the rules and once that is out then I will make another video talking about that. <clears throat> and uh, that's one resources that you can also try to look at in English of course and will explain you about a lot of stuff um, and also some news, new card reviews etc which is called the gate realize so uh, this website contains a lot of useful information and if you are looking to like read some card effects which I'm not going to tell you everything today because that will be too much you can go there and see if you like those uh, card arts, uh, the effects, not fully of course, but you will start getting knowing uh, <coughs> something about this game and decide if you want to play or not. But to me, I will be getting into it. And from there, I will see how things go up, goes on. So, yeah. Okay, then, then next we should talk about uh, the different card types available in this game <coughs> so first we do have a card type called uh, ruler so ruler would determine how you play the game it's not the uh, not exactly the deck content because you build your deck based on your um, ruler and your ruler determine how you play the game <coughs> which I will uh, explain how uh, rulers are going to determine your game so for example the uh, ruler that I'm going to show you right now is uh, called K11 Knight so it is a like uh, the most common ruler that you can see in the game and uh, how should I say it different rulers will have different rules and this will determine how you do your moves, plan your game, and win. So let's talk about this ruler right here. So he got something that tells you how you start preparing the game. You start with uh, two cards in hand and three cards in energy. And I will talk about energy in a bit. And then the second part is says when your uh, turn starts, you can active two of your energy and draw two cards. 
So here comes another part that we need to know with uh, gate ruler. We usually should be drawing two cards every turn. And the reason of uh, having this design is that to reducing the luck factor as much as possible. Because every one card you draw, the uh, luck factor will be very very high. And if you draw an extra card, then you likely have less impact from it. So it's not like, uh, if you've got two cards, I can turn something around. But if i got one card, I don't. But now you have two. So I think they work a little bit harder to test play it and design how many cards that you can get every single turn. Of course, you might have some extra draw, but those might cost you some resources. And you can see here, you start with free energy, but you can only untap two energy every single turn. So now you need to be uh, very, very careful on how you use the resources. Because even though you have free energy, you can only untap two. So are you going to use all three energies and next turn you can still survive with two energy or you need to use one or two so that next turn you can use three energy. That's uh, something you need to plan and also affecting how you create your deck balance because some uh, monsters or some other cards that will cost you a lot of energy but are you going to put too much in there because you only can uh, active two of them. So if you like full of cards that using free energy but you always only have two energy and tap then you can't use them so that's another thing and they got a rule there and saying you can only do up to two normal summons of course special summons will be something different and probably not going to count but this also affecting how you uh, play the game because you will see in a bit that we have uh, three slots for summoning cards and if you only have two, then how are you going to fill up your field to be defensive, to be aggressive? It will be completely different. And this is our most common ruler. So what comes up next might be something that extremely different. Yep. So uh, Mr. Ikechi also used uh, different card games to uh, try to explain how this works. So for example, if you if we say K11 Knight is a uh, ruler that having a rule of vanguard. So for example, you just call three units and you just uh, keep attacking, defending, or whatever, and then your uh, middle guy will just keep upgrading, and you take whatever damage, and you that that's the vanguard rule. But there could be another ruler using a uh, Yu-Gi-Oh rule. So you of course you still have your ruler but then maybe the monster that you can summon maximum is five not three um, and your life could be like not six but twelve something like that which will be like a different cracking fighting each other but that's the only like the idea of telling you how rulers can be different and we need to see exactly what the uh, text written on the ruler to know uh, how we should use that ruler to play the game or which ruler feeling your play style then you can use that make a deck and play from there yeah so starting even starting from here you can see there's a lot of things that we need to digest uh, but with the basic k11 knight right here uh, I think that explains to you a little bit uh, about how gate ruler works so uh, next I am going to show you for example a uh, monster so it could be called a uh, unit card a uh, monster card whatever you want to call and this I think we should call it unit, unit card for now so it is a creature uh, and they have uh, different nations, different uh, army, different things and I will explain it to you in a bit but first we want to talk about the card type so this is a uh, unit and you can see there are four numbers here so 0, 2, 2 and 1 unit 0, ATK 2, 
uh, HP2 and STK1. So let me explain to you what they are. So first, unit zero meaning it is a uh, zero cost unit. So you don't need to uh, pay any energy to use this unit. If it is a unit one, then you need to uh, you need to tap one energy in order to play this card. Uh, unit two, unit three, will be etc etc. So like tapping two, tapping three. So very very simple. Um, so it's not like body fight that is a size, but it's kind of a size. But then when you need to use these units, you also need to take care about the cost, which. For example, go back to the ruler because you only can untap uh, two energy with your K11 knight, so you don't want to have your deck full of uh, unit three cards so that you can't summon them. And you get too many of them in your hand, they will just not going to help you out. Next is the uh, ATK. ATK is the uh, attack point of that creature <coughs> that is going to give. To opponent's creature so if you attack with this card to your uh, opponent's unit they will take two damage and when you are doing your battles attacking side will not take damage from battle so that uh, if for example if you use this card to fight against another card with the same just like two cards two of the same card fighting they both have a uh, 2 HP 2 ATK so your attack side will attack it since the, uh, the defending side got 2 HP and it's got 2 attacks so it kills to 0 so it will kill the card but then the card that you are attacking will not bounce back that 2 attack point back to you so you won't take damage and your creatures still exist and damage will just keep uh, keep stays there until the end of turn so for example, if you have this creature and your opponents have a creature with 4 HP, then when you attack with it, of course your attacking unit will not die, but uh, the defending unit will only take 2 damage, so its uh, HP will go from 4, 4 to 2, and you need to use another unit with at least 2 attack to kill it, which is possible. And if you don't do anything and only give it 2 damage, uh, when you end your turn, it will go back to uh, 4 HP. So that's how it works. So last thing is the SDK is called Strike Point. So it is a uh, value that you are going to deal to your uh, opponent's ruler. So attack and strike is different, which is like uh, body fight. So body fight, you have your attack, your defense, and also a point to uh, I think it's called, probably also called a strike that is going to deal to the player so it is different okay so um, now we have explained the uh, unit cards and next uh, I am going to show you a different type of cards so this is a event card uh, so event card will be put in another area called event zone then uh, and you can see the design is actually not uh, vertical but horizontal and the reason that they design it as a horizontal is because uh, if you normally do a Yu-Gi-Oh set right here uh, it's kind of hard to do it this way so maybe some people are get used to Yu-Gi-Oh they can just do it but uh, if you do it this way it's kind of easier to look at what you have set this is why they designed it uh, this way and I think it's a interesting way of thinking how to put a different card type in a different way and design it different so if a card is kind of like a magic card or something that you need to uh, set it on the event zone and then use it and then usually those event cards will tell you the timing that you can use it for example uh, this event card I think is called Call Lightning uh, which is tells you the timing to use this card is uh, instant so when you set it you can use it anytime 
but uh, of course uh, since we have no idea about the full rules yet so for that it could be a sudden strike that during when your opponents are attacking you just suddenly flip it <coughs> or it's only uh, during your turn it could be so we still need to wait for more information at least uh, from what I know and then it says uh, to select a level 0 or lower uh, opponent's unit and destroy it so yeah basically just that and it say event 1 so you need to actually pay 1 energy in order to use that card and you also can see uh, under the event 1 there's a uh, CNT right there so that is uh, a effect called counter and counter is relating to how you uh, actually take damage because uh, we just saw the unit card has strike point and for example if a card strike you for 2 then <coughs> you will go check the top card of the deck like vanguard you just take 1 damage and then you go for another but say if the first card you take is a uh, CNT and it say play this card <laughs> then you will immediately use the effect and that card will go to your uh, <coughs> graveyard instead of going to damage so it's kind of cancel a damage but it's not like white swatch that uh, when you reveal the first one as a counter it cancels all the damage no that's not the case but only for the damage that you are taking and you're reviewing as a counter will go to drop and you will still need to do the second check on damage if it's not a counter of course you will put it in the damage area so this is uh also including a little bit of luck factor in there so if a uh, game is kind of one-sided and you are just keep it need to keep taking damage at least they, there's a chance that you can reduce the damage you take but uh, the number of counter that we can play in a uh, deck should also be bounded by the rulers that's what I heard yeah so of course we will still need to wait what's going on but so far that's some types that we need to uh, know about okay so uh, we have explained ruler unit and events so now let's talk about the uh, play map or play field so first you can see this uh, play field right here is kind of empty only the uh, place that you can see the gate ruler logo is the deck and above it is a uh, cemetery or graveyard or drop zone and then there's a uh, field zone which uh, for now we still have no idea what that is and then in the middle we have ruler and above ruler there's a defense zone which uh, is a center line where you can uh, summon a unit and it will just defending you from taking damage and based on what we know right now is uh, say this is your ruler of course this was of cube what's a wheel card is also a ruler and you can uh, have a unit right here in defense then your ruler cannot attack maybe there's another uh, ruler that can attack even if you have a card on the defense zone but for now uh, once you have it like this, your ruler cannot attack and this would uh, defend you from taking damage. So if you put something with a high HP, then your opponent will need to do multiple attacks to kill it in order to hit the ruler. For now. And then uh, you have your right side, you have your left side that you can uh, call units onto and those units will be used for attack. So you only can have two attack units but uh, based on what Mr. Ikechi say, this playmat is uh, more likely for uh, our knight k11 or just the knight ruler. And if we have uh, a different ruler for a later time, this playsheet can be completely different. For example, you might have actually have uh, like five was the zone or maybe like you have two attack uh, two defense 
uh, one attack, anything could happen. But for now, that's how we see it. And then we have our uh, set area. So, so far we have three set area, then you can uh, put three of the event cards face down like that and use it depending on the timing. So, uh, based on what I heard from now, we uh, only have three, and the reason is uh, you won't be like too confusing or having too much information flowing into my, into your head. Because like Yu-Gi-Oh, you have five, and you need to always keep checking it, keep checking it, because sometimes you just forget it. But then if you have three, then it should be easier to ma manage. So that's how they design it. And then after that, there's uh, energy area. So energy, uh, what is that you can just say will be a different card, which you can be you, you can use any card face down. But uh, from later products, you should be able to see energy. So it will probably be like the magic stones from uh, Force of Will. But it's something that you gain when the, at the start of the game. So you don't need to like Force of Will to uh, tap your ruler in order to gain one. So, yeah, and then the energy, when you use it, you will just tap it. And every turn, based on your ruler's rule, you will untap whatever energy. So, for example, using this card as an example, say it got a fire and they won. So let's say it's a uh, level 2 unit. So if you need to use two, use this card, then you need to tap two of your energy in order to summon it. And so far, uh, since we can't see the energy, I don't think it will be uh, nations or clans restricted, but it could be. So we need to wait for more information, as I keep saying. And then you have the damage area, that depending on your ruler, you just keep taking damage until you're dead. And maybe there are like ways that you can recover, maybe there are ways that you can use them. We will see. So uh let's switch to another image right here. So now you can see um how the monster being set. Uh as I showed you, then that's probably uh help you easier to have an other image. Okay. Uh, and then let's talk about the unit cards so unit cards we do have uh, different what we call nations and they will have different card art uh, different naming and different effects so uh, for example let's start with uh, this one so it's called uh, let's see so this is our first nation. It's called uh, Fonar. Uh, so it cons consists of like uh, a fantasy world, for example, dragon, sword, magic, and it's like a uh, dungeon world in in the uh, in body fights. And they usually use good at using magic, so probably relating to using a lot of events and uh, have a different way of summoning. Because uh, some dragons will have different effects if you summoning them differently. So, for example, there's some ways that you can uh, summon a dragon from the cemetery onto your field, and once you do that, they got the effects. Or maybe if you summoning them, especially summoning them from hand, it could be like uh, synchro. It could be something different. Then when you call them using that method, they will get another. Uh, different effects so that's how things works and uh, we can have a look of this recent review uh, dragon right here I think if you are a fan of uh, card kingdom you should see this art already like a lot and now it's finally getting printed as a card with a name uh, and it's uh, a very high rarity card, it's the legend rarity. So this card uh, 
you can see it's a unit free so you need to tap free energy in order to use it and it got a counter skill that can use the skill when it uh, comes to the field then it can uh, give damage but then uh, this unit probably won't just get summoned if you use it as a counter so that's I hope what I see is right and then uh, there are different dragons that we only see the art uh, there are some soldiers that we can't see the effects right now so that's uh, Fauna and then uh, we have another world called uh, Atlas so it's like a uh, European style of uh, army so they have like uh, <coughs> army from different worlds they also have uh, dragons they have empire and uh, their art type is very uh, western so you can see for example this captain card right here is a hero um, and then you can see this card is called uh, Alice and if okay, again if you really play Force of Will then you probably know this art because uh, we also have Alice there and they just look very very similar and then we have a uh, dragon here then it might using the same uh, summon method as a uh, folder it could be but we don't know yet okay and then uh, next we have another world it's called the uh, it's called the magical universe so this uh, how to say this nation is uh, something that involves a lot of naming galaxy and it's a beat-down type I think it, sh it will be so you can see for example this card uh, is like the uh, big evil Dai Aku, Akuto uh, so we don't know his effects yet but he looks quite galaxy and then there's another galaxy card and uh, here's another event card called Zap 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 it's like the western style of uh, comics uh, yeah so the arts can be very very different when you go into different nations and we also have another uh, nations it's called the uh, Toyo so it's like the Asian side which involve uh, yokai, uh, obake, robots and humans so you can see for example this card right here we don't have the skill yet but it got so many uh, different special effects like CNT, TD, OD uh, and TD uh, is called touchdown so that when it appears on the field probably from hand then it will got their uh, skill activated OD we have no idea yet and it also got a counter and then we got some uh, mecha dragons here and we also got some yokai here some ghost yeah so different worlds different arts yeah so that's basically what we uh, know about as different worlds and we also have a uh, enemy world that is the invaders uh, but we don't have too much types right now but later maybe we can see more and so far uh, for example this card right here uh, it only got a counter skill so we still need to wait a little bit more to see how this invader nations uh, is special off okay so we have explained rulers we have explained uh, units, events, uh, the play sheets, energy, uh, like different nations and then we can also talk about uh, the actual products. So let's talk about uh, the main booster here. Um, I have pre-ordered one booster box and my friend also too so we will be getting one of each and I probably will just my own uh, booster on 
the camera so you can see how uh, the whole box contains but we can see it from here uh, each pack will have five cards one box will have a uh, 36 pack then uh, for a case there will be 12 boxes so what we are going to get from a booster box there will be for example uh, 63 types of normal cards and we will get 124 cards from a box so we will likely be getting two each of the commons and then with uh, like the uncommon I would say star 2 we will get uh, 36 cards out of 24 so we will get like uh, 1 to 2 copy from a box and then for 3 stars we will get uh, 11 or 17 we might get double or maybe we only get one of each depends we will see and then for uh, 4 stars then we will get uh, 8 out of 17 so likely half and then for uh, legend which is 4 star L which uh, we will get uh, 1 out of 6 and if you buy a box as a top bo uh, box topper you will get another one so it's more you will get more benefit by getting a whole box rather than just uh, getting single packs because if you are getting single packs the uh, le extra legend box topper will already go to the shop so yeah that's something that you need to consider when you uh, get into the game which uh, likely if you want to uh, get everything you probably will need to go at least half a case or maybe even a case to basically get play sets of everything so I'm not going to uh, play every single thing I'm only uh, trying to get something that I want to play and just get from there and probably I will just get a box too because it's not uh, cheap even though you got a lot of packs uh, for me I need to pay uh, 600 something Hong Kong dollars in order to get one so not cheap uh, it's similar to uh, Dragon Ball and I can't just pay that much every release because I do have other card games to play with and until I have decided I want to go like full on with Gate Roller then maybe I will cut from other card games and go back to Gate Roller but for now uh, I'm just going to get a box or two uh, every single set and then get singles depending if the singles are very expensive or not then we will be uh, seeing something different so uh, we also will have something called a uh, uber rare so it's <coughs> like for some real you will have a uh, different foiling of the card and uh, they are count as secrets so uh, from Mr. EKG stream we are likely going to get uh, one secret or three boxes but of course uh, it can be different because unless you get a full case which then you might get uh, four of the uber rare or maybe you can only get three because we don't know how they are going to put the stuff in there which uh, it will be uh, the four star uh, version of the card I think so they are not going to get uh, every single card with the over rare they are probably going to do something with a uh, higher rarity so that's the uh, main booster uh, and then they have also prepared something for uh, collectors which is called the uh, high rarity pack so you get 13 cards in a pack and one box you get uh, 10 packs and then uh, one case you will get 5 boxes so you can see the number of boxes is very very low but then all of them are like uh, full frame art and uh, some special uber version or like parallel and you can only get the 
Uber version from the Legends from here. And also, of course, you can get some uh, special quality for your rulers. So this is completely for uh, whales, for collectors, uh, or people who just want their decks to be full shiny. That's where you should go. And it also should contain a uh, card from the starter deck. So yeah, you can... Uh, pay a lot of money from there if you really want. For me, uh, I probably won't go that path. And I think they uh, make a very good move on this pack because for collectors, not sure you, if you know a friend to be a collector or not, but they will like to get every single rarity of the card. One of each. But now, you tell them you can only find all very version of the legend card through there then they need to go from there and they not only need to get the high rarity pack they also need to get a starter they need to get a normal booster in order to get the every single type of the rarity so this will be like could be money burning but we probably will be seeing uh, different content creators later with uh, a lot of uber rares, a lot of high rarity cards, and we can see how different they are. So uh, talk about how different they are, uh, I can also show you something that I saw from the stream. So for example, this card right here uh, is a 4 star, so it's like a triple rare. And this is the normal version of the triple rare, so even though it's uh, different from the normal card, of the common cards uh, you can see uh, the art is actually getting out of the frame so it's already something different and when we go to uber rare we can see the coloring is different so it's already something that different so you need to collect if you're a collector and uh, the coloring everything is so much different and yeah the frame is also different too so it goes to the black but I'm very very help, uh, grateful that uh, the uber rare is not fully black because in force of will uh, we always see uber rare as a uh, full black version of a card it's special but I do want to see some color and now they're adding it in and then you can also find here a uh, high rarity version so they basically just clean the frame most of the frame so we can also call it frameless so there are three different types of uh, version of a card that you can obtain and of course if you can afford them you can choose whatever you want but if you say you can't actually spend a lot of money on high rarity stuff then you can just get the uh, normal version since uh, collectors only need one of each so they might probably have a lot to sell but we will see and lastly we have the uh, starter so starter they have uh, two versions right here the one first one is the uh, yokai and uh, giant robot starter so it's a mix of uh, Toyo army and magical universe so it's like a uh, put it out and be down probably just that but we should also see some uh, like uh, combinations maybe some combined formations because they are robots or some uh, special thing that can just turn, uh, flip the table around but it will be a very simple mechanic so if you are new to card games then you probably can choose this starter to play with so that you can know the basic rules uh, play some simple games but at the same time not losing that easy because their decks uh, in different TCG are welcoming the new players but then on average they are like extremely strong because when you need to win games like continuously you need some 
techniques and you need to learn them through playing. Of course this game will also be doing that but this starter should also help uh, new players to get into the game easier and not making too big of a difference against someone who play the games a lot. But of course there are some secret tech that you need to know through playing the game but at least it's a good starting point. Then we have another uh, starter which is uh, a starter that I'm getting. So this will be uh, a mix of uh, Fauna and Atlas. So they do have something, uh, special summoning cards and probably something that doing uh, field removal which will uh, require you to use your brain a little bit more but since they're only starters and once the booster getting in uh, things can be different and from these two starters from these two starters then you should notice something it's a mix of two countries to, or to army which means uh, in Gate Ruler usually you will mix whatever two countries into one put in your deck use your ruler with the rule and play the game and from there we might be able to see for example uh, Volner plus uh, Magical Universe or Atlas plus uh, Toyo Army or different mechs but of course we will see uh, when the set release and see which ones is uh, probably more popular or more like the meta way of building the decks we'll see so uh, based on here right now I think I have uh, explained what I know uh, about the game and what we can see when the products release so uh, of course if you do have some questions you can uh, put them down uh, that maybe I've talked a little bit but not fully then if I know the answer of course I will tell you if I don't then of course I will also tell you that I don't have that part of information but when the uh, rules is actually getting revealed then I will do another uh, video talking about that and uh, also if you want to see more card effects, you want to see more card art, uh, you uh, might want some more uh, deep information about what I just said, you can also go to the site uh, Gate Realize so that they can uh, show you a little bit more. Of course I'm not part of them but uh, they are a very strong database for now uh, and I think there's also some gate ruler influencers uh, involving as well so we can actually see a lot on the Eng English side because for now we only have the uh, Japanese release and the English side should release like three months after I think uh, and they probably will also have a Chinese version but if you ask me which side that I'm going to take for now I will be taking the Japanese side because I can uh, directly get the products locally uh, but if we are allowed to like mix languages and if English is also will likely be available uh, then I might jump to the English side maybe but first we will need to see if we can mix languages if not then I probably will just go for a Japanese one because uh, I can get of course I can get it locally and uh, I can get them like earlier than the other languages so yeah uh, let me know any questions again uh, and hopefully I can make more contents about gate ruler uh, and find some fun from it then we can see what we can get from there yeah so Thanks for watching guys, and uh, I haven't made this kind of long video for a while, uh, but it's kind of fun to do that as well. So I will see you guys in the next video, signing off.